Okay, this is um, our, agen our um, agenda for today. We're going to have an introduction from the, um, the instructor. It's going to be me alone, it used to be true. Then introduction from the students and uh, intro introducing a techno.com platform where we are going to be working from, introducing the program, the way we work, the way everything is structured, and then introducing the work placement, um, the way it operates. And then we receive questions um, from our, from each and every one of you, which uh, any area of um, any area you feel that you you need to be clear, we are ready to to clarify you after the um, the session. So that's what we are going to be doing today. So um, next week, Monday, we are going to fully start with um, project management, which is going to run for two weeks, and. After project management, then uh, we start business analysis. And after then, we go into our work placement, which will run for three months. And then you'll be free to, to go and uh, make the change that um, we want you to make within our society by getting a very good job. So, myself, my name is Charles Ugu. Yeah, I'm a Nigerian and I'm based here in London. I've been in London since um, 2007 when I came here for further studies. Although, after some days, I saw, after my graduation, I came down. Um, Immediately after my graduation, my, my master's degree, that was in 2000 and um, I graduated, I finished my master's in 2011 from University of Westminster where I studied digital enterprise management and information management and finance. I came back to Nigeria. I was eager to, to be part of the change our society has been yearning for. You know, and I want you to know me very well. I ventured into politics where I became the local government chairman for two years for my local government. But I didn't, uh, things didn't work out. The, the pattern of uh, governance, the way things run is not actually, it, it doesn't uh, suit my lifestyle. And I have to come back to continue with my profession as a project manager, working as a senior project manager, senior business analyst, data analyst, developer, I'm a certified a scrum master, certified product owner, entrepreneurship consultant, and a mentor. I've worked in financial industries. I've worked like in bank PhD. That's, I was um, starting my job in bank PhD when I left Nigeria. And before bank PhD, I was working um, with um, Mobitel in Lagos. Mobitel is the first private telecommunication in Nigeria. That's where I did my youth service in 2004. And they uh, gave me employment. And I was there before coming to UK. So I've worked in public sector as an executive chairman of the council. I've worked in construction sector, retail, health sector, and educational sector in the capacity of either a project manager, business analyst, or a developer. I'm a developer because I've developed so many of these um, applications I'm using. I developed so many of them. So these are the things 
all this experience is uh, these are the things I've gathered over the years, you know. And I my 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 first degree is in banking and finance from University of Nigeria. So all this experience I've gathered is what I put together to give out. So it's time for me to start transferring my knowledge to the next generation. And that is what I intend to do. It's not just about money. It's about um, satisfaction, fulfillment in life. Money is not, uh, money doesn't uh, give you that. Uh, there's a stage like if, you, if you've not made money, money might seem like it's everything. But you, if, if you've seen money, you will see the power and travel around uh, places, you find out that money is no longer everything. Oh. So, Okay, so this is um, my. I'm just trying to introduce myself very well for you people to get to understand me very well. And now is the turn um, for the students. I will want to know you um, at least. Let everybody say something. We have um, a Berechuku Ibikunle. We have um, Oloa Shegun Ibikunle. We have um, Oloa Tosin Olusegun. We have uh, Adeni Olusegun. Um, Temitope uh, Miriam Rashidat Bernice Achioma. John Bosco, Simon, Chioma, Gloria, Isaac, and Esosa. These are the people in this program. And we are going to be a best of friends and allied for the next four months in order to get what we are looking for. So and I will give you people opportunity to talk so that we'll get to know ourselves better before we continue. Like I said, it's going to be an introductory session. We we'll get to know ourselves better in order to work better. So I'm starting uh, like some of us are not here, but uh, some of us that are here, you can unmute yourself and uh, say hello to the class. Hello, Benny. Hello, am I talking to myself? Hi, no, we can hear you, obviously. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, this, uh, um, we need to work together, we need to collaborate, you know? So I've, um, I've been talking, I've been introducing myself and it's good that I get to know a bit about you, your background, so that I you know um, how deep I'm going to cut if I'm cutting uh, in every topic, you know. So, but if you guys are not good at, uh, you don't want to do that, then we move on. Okay, I could start. Good evening, everyone. Um, I apologize for, for the noise around me. Actually, I'm on the road. My name is Esosa Ediaye, and um, a bit about my background. 
um, my first degree was from University of Benin in 1999. Um, that was in business administration. And then I, I, I worked in MTN for some time. I worked in Central Bank for some time. I worked in Standard Trust Bank when it was STB before it became UBA. And um, I did a, my first master's in marketing in um, London Metropolitan University. That was in 2007. I'm currently working in, okay, I would say government telecoms. I'm working in Nigerian Communications Satellite Limited. I'm an assistant general manager stroke head of marketing of a satellite infrastructure company, which is one of the companies that Nitch comes at first. And I'm pursuing a second master's in the UK. That actually informed the decision to do this because I don't want to have, um, I, want to, I want to expand the skills, that, the skill set that I have so that I have many arsenals, you know, in my many weapons rather in my arsenal. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let me leave the floor. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you have a very big uh, CV, you know. You're welcome. So, can any, um, Hi, hi everyone. Hi. Okay, so this is my. I'm going to turn on my video so that at least you can put a, you know, a face to the name. Yes, so, that would, that would be that would be very um, good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm <laughs> I got as much as possible. Hello, everyone. So my name is Mariam, and um, Mariam Thomas actually. I actually want to venture into this project management, you know, like Esther has said, to have additional skills. I started off studying civil engineering, but then <laughs> went into computer science. But currently, I work in personnel management and pursuing a, a master's degree in human resource management. I have worked across um, different aspects of things. I've done graphics, I've been a graphic designer, I've been into customer services, and I think I just enjoy working with people. So in my present role, I work a lot, we do a lot of projects, but not as a full project manager, but um, you know, managing little projects in the offices and all. So yes, it's great to meet everyone. And um, thank you, Charles, for the opportunity. I think I would want to learn quite a lot of things from you and from the team. Eventually, like you said, we'll eventually have to collaborate. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hi, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, Oluwatosin Olusegun. I currently work in an health agency. Um, we have um, so many health projects that we implement, and um, I participate in almost all the sections of running the project, by managing the project, supervising, and all of that. Um, I applied to RGU. For masters and project management. I'm happy to be a part of this PM apprenticeship class um, because I know it would help develop my competency and necessary skills that I need to excel in this field. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. Okay. So, good evening, everyone. Okay, maybe I should put up my video too, just like Miriam did. Okay, my name is Rashida Busari, and um, it's a pleasure meeting everybody. I am, just like they said, um, I'm also here for career progression. I also want to learn new skills. Um, I've had like um, over 17 years work experience. I've worked in different sectors, but mainly financial services, 
banking, I've done auditing. I've worked in almost all aspects of banking anyway, from digital banking, operations. So of course, um, I also got, I've done first, uh, my first degree was in accounting, second degree banking and finance. That's my master's. So I'm also, um, I'm, I also got admission to for um, MSc business analytics in R RGU. In RGU, sorry. In yeah, RGU, Robert, Robert in, sorry. Robert. I had someone. Okay. So um, I'm here hoping to learn a lot. I'm sure we'll learn a lot from you. And I'm also ready to mingle and have fun. I'm sure we'll have fun learning. Thank yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's what um, education is, uh, what we're trying to do to remove the complexity in education because you find out that so many at times when you try to send a child to school, they, they don't want to go to school because the people that have been administering this uh, education, they made things very difficult for us. And this time around, technology, is trying to simplify everything so that you should be learning having fun you know learning should be a fun as well and these are the things we are we are going to be doing thank you um rashida okay hello everyone um okay. hello uh, Hello, hear. everyone. Yeah, hi. We okay, can hear good you. evening, everyone. I am glad to be on this platform today. Hi. My name is Shoma. My name is Shoma Okori. Um, I graduated as a math communicator, but I have been working in projects and uh, more management, more management um, for seven years now. I work as a um, more manager in Portaco. I actually managed for support more for seven years. So uh, by virtue of my job, I got to understand projects, even though I never had a background on that field, but I got to uh, into that field and I've enjoyed it. So I want to better myself. And right now I got admission for my MSc in business analytics. Uh, and uh, project management. So I want to use this platform to uh, broaden my horizon, you know, make it easier for me to blend into the field. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I believe by the end of this program, you will be highly impacted. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Bernice. My background is in accounting and um, <clears throat> audits and controls, compliance, fraud, examination, investigation, uh, risk management. I enjoy doing all of this and I've been intrigued by tech. And I consider that this program would be um, the easiest way to get into tech. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued by tech and I'm, I was looking for something that could leverage off my existing skills. So um, this program came in very handy to get into that space without um, getting into the um, back end developer and all of that coding and the rest, but still being able to take advantage of tech. I'm excited about the opportunity for um, remote engagement. I intend to spend more time with my family, but still being um, actively involved, leveraging off my existing skills and getting the best of it. I'm looking forward to an exciting time here. I'm looking forward to interacting and hopefully that at the end of this program, everyone on this cohort will have great stories to tell. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, good evening. 
Mr. Isaac. My name is Isaac Victor Graham. I did geophysics. I'm going to do my postgraduate on community health. I'm an HSC professional to the highest level in HSC. I've been practicing HSC for the past 14 years, over 14 years. I worked in both the oil and the construction section. I'm here to learn, at least to gain knowledge in project management and to blend it with health and safety. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Isaac. Hi, everyone. Hi. Finally, we have, two, we, have, we have two men on board. <laughs> so yeah. my name is uh, Adini, and uh, I've been around the IT corridor for quite a while. I studied computer engineering, and um, my second degree is in information management. I've also touched base with um, on banking, um, banking, health oh, sector. Sure. Sorry? I've thought based with uh, on banking, the health sector, and um, other tech uh, development uh, institution. Currently, I manage the National Emergency Operations Center here in Abuja. And um, I'm looking forward to a prospect of having uh, a certification in project management. And I hope this um, cohort will be the best platform for me to actually achieve that. Thank you so much. You are welcome, sir. Um, the floor is still open. If you want to, if you want us to know a bit about yourself from your background, the floor is still open. Like um, this is uh, although as we be moving, we we'll still get, be getting to know each other. But when we start um, cracking the the nails, I don't think we'll have time for so much uh, introductory session like this. Yeah. Okay. I think. Um, um we need to uh, crack on Okay. Now I'm going to um, introduce uh, our platform because um, from experience, I know so many of you must have, uh, uh, so many of you must have um, been navigating around the system. But I'll, yeah, still, I'll still have to please. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's start from the basics so that we are not going to leave anybody struggling in any way. Uh, this is the platform. Is um most of our activities will be emanating from here is our cost portal and um, after every session just like we are doing this session is being on recording we are recording this session and after this session like if you log into the portal now the portal is going to be empty 
because we've not done anything. But as we progress, every session, live session we record, we upload it to the course portal so that our students can go there and uh, watch the video as so many times as you want. And uh, if you have questions, you can equally ask questions from the portal. So, and we still have, we have a forum within the portal where you can ask questions, get answer, interact. And if you are given assignments, you can equally submit your assignments through the portal. And then there's a lot of things you can do through our portal. So that's why we provided a um, um, WhatsApp group just for fast communication. But we have a, a notice board within our portal where we send notice and we get it via email. So that's why I want us to start from here and see, make sure that nobody's struggling and that you have the best um, exploring the, the portal. So once uh, you type in our address, which is techno.com, you get this uh, live, uh, this is our homepage. You log in from this login or you sign in if you're trying to sign in for new uh, members or students. But if you are already a student, just like you guys are now, you just log in from here. So when you click login, it bring you to login page where you put your email and your password. And one, once you do that, it's going to take you We're going to uh, bring this page and you see my courses and the instructor. So if you are logging in as a student, you just go to your courses. But if you are an instructor, you dive into the instructor where you'll be managing the courses you are, you are teaching and uh, where you can equally manage your students. This is a multi-vendor uh teaching so we can have as so many as so many instructors as possible can have so many can have up to five instructors in one subject or in one course so but for now i'm going to be a instructor so this from here you click here you dive into your courses or from here you can see dive into your account um, and um, if you want to update your account or do anything with your account, this is where you do it. So, so for instance, if you just go to your courses, my courses, it will bring you to this um, page where all the courses that you are enrolled, this is where you see all the courses that you are like this one, this is hybrid uh, apprenticeship, the one that is uh, ongoing. So if you log in, this is what you're going to see. And then you click Start Lessons. And once you do that, it's going to bring another page here where you get something like this. You see all the, all the live sections, all the lessons here. Whichever one you click, it will appear here and you watch it. This is how it was so from the lesson um tabs you can navigate around all the recorded uh, live lesson that have been uploaded here and if you want to check when the, the next live uh, class is coming you can click here and at the end of the whole program you can get your certificate so that is um as, as, as you are progressing, your, your certificate will start maturing. If you go 50% within this program, your certificate will become 50% done. By the end of the program, we've done everything we are asked you to do. Then you get to, you just um, um, download your certificate. So that is uh, that. And stay within this, um, page you can scroll down 
And there you see this forum. From this forum, you can um, ask any question. Just click, you type any question, and uh, the instructor will answer the question. Or uh, any other student, maybe uh, we will have a good knowledge of that particular topic and equally make a contribution. And if you click here, that is going to be the notice board. If you click here, all the notices I've been sending, you'll be receiving on your email, you will see all the notices coming in, uh, into your own um, uh, course portal page. So you'll be able to see all the notices. And from here, you see all the assignments given. And from here, you can um, uh, do your assignments or submit your assignments from here. And the instructor, we get the assignment from here and award you mark from here. And uh, that's it. That's how it, um, the system works. I'll see if we can um, have a quick dive in the system so you see how it works. But let me walk you down through all the things we have before we go and start doing some of these things live. So, now is introducing the uh, program. This program is going to be project management and business analysis combined together. We are doing that um, based on my experience. You find out that um, a project manager, this is mainly IT, we are, we are, we are mainly IT project uh, management uh, oriented. Although you can equally use um, our experience to manage any other project, whether construction, but the, the, the project we are going to be focusing is IT projects. You find out the IT project managers and the business analysts, they work hand in hand. And so many at times you see a business analyst leading a project. And this, um, made it uh, for me that is very good as a project manager you must have some skills in business and analysis and as a business analyst you must have a good background in project management and it's going to give you wider opportunity you know you, you can navigate um, uh, career anyhow you want it you can switch to 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 project manager, you can switch to business analysis, you can even switch to data, anyhow you want. So you create so many opportunities for you. When others are complaining there is no job, what you'll be complaining is uh, I'm confused. I don't know which job to choose, you know? And this is it's happening to me now. I get so many job offers every day, you know? So it's, it's the one that suits my need. That's the one I take. Anyone that suits my need, you know, like now I, I, I love uh, working remotely and it has been uh, helping me to spend the quality time with my family and the rest of them. So these are the things that, um, so in terms of project management, we are going to be making references or drawing so many uh, point from this uh, BMI Institute. And this is their project management uh, body of knowledge. So PMI is a global, um, highly uh, globally rated. It's almost number one globally in terms of uh, project management standard. So, and we are trying to apply best practice in things we are doing here. We don't want to waste anybody's time. We don't want to waste anybody's resources. We're applying agile mindset <clears throat> and we're applying C Sigma and Lean mindset, trying to reduce um, waste within this program. That's why we are running this program for four months. But in the actual sense, if you run this program like the way it should be, like other universities like MSL, this and that, this program can last for two years. 
we find out that what we are giving you is what will give you access to the labor market. We don't want a lot of uh, wanted theories. We are practically oriented based on my experience. There are some certain things that they, they wasted my time in the universe. They never asked me uh, in the labor market. So I'm try we're trying as much as we can to be lame in our thinking and in our approach to things. So, so the, the next uh, thing is um, business analysis. In dealing with our own uh, business analysis in this program, we are going to be drawing a lot of um, key points, uh, making reference to this uh, a business analysis body of knowledge from IIBA, International Institute of uh, Business Analysis, which is uh, almost number one body when you talk about business analysis. So these are the area we'll be covering most of our, I want you to know where we are drawing our knowledge. Although they, if, you, if you see that textbook, a lot of things they are doing there, there's a lot of theories there. But we are going to be focusing on mainly practical. So we're going not, we are, we are not going to, um, to leave any, uh, any stone on top within all these uh, modules, but we are going to be giving you more of practical approach, it's going to be more of uh, uh, applying the practical than uh, learning the theories, because this is what the market demands. Then, after the, the one month intensive crash program on business um, uh, training on business analysis and project management, we deploy you to manage a project, a live project. And this will happen within three months. We deploy a, uh, a software or a solution to a company. So that's what you're going to do. So, and to do that, we we'll have um, so many remote work environments. We have a DG breed where we have a, a very big work environment for, for big groups. We probably have a base camp where we, we manage um, smaller projects. So like uh, this is an interface of um, a base camp. This is a project that is going on now. It's a project Catroid payment system. This is a project that is ongoing, and this is the project uh, team. So this is the remote work environment where you'll be working with group. The base camp is highly recognized globally in terms of project management. It's very simple, and it gives company respect. If you have knowledge of base camp, um, companies tend to respect you for that. You know, so that's why we're trying to get um, hold of all these technologies. So we're going to use Basecamp. And then in Basecamp, this is how we're going to be. There's no need of trying to teach you Basecamp now. We are not gonna, we are not going to jump gun. So just to give you knowledge of what we are going to be facing in future. So and this is where we deploy our solution. We use a Jira work environment. It's equally for project management, you know, mainly for agile project management, agile scrum. So this is where we, we deploy our, uh, our solution from. We manage using agile scrum framework. Is what we're going to be. This is a, a live project, it's still going on. So, 
And in terms of companies where you'll be doing your, your work placement, these are some of our companies we are going to be using. This is um, Catroid. Catroid is a registered multi vendor e commerce operation in Nigeria. And Catroid is planning to um, scale up from Nigeria to all over the Africa and uh, globally. It's a startup, but that is the, 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 the vision. So and I can say that in Nigeria, the competitor for now is uh, Jumia. We have a cultural goal, so many capacity that even Jumia do not have. So this is a, a, a business to customer model and a business to business. So it's a business to customer, business to business, business model. So we are going to, um, I'm going to show you all these applications live. So we can be doing, this is one of the like corporate payment system. This, um, uh, some group of uh, uh, project managers and business analysts are now working on this particular their payment um, system. Then we have another company called uh, Food Tracker. Foodtracker.com is a food delivery system, just like um, Uber Eats, Deliveroo, uh, Just Eat. These are the lives of a food tracker. Uh, it's a very easy startup as well, but it's registered as well in Nigeria. And um, it's a global business. All these businesses go to a and these are global business. It's not a, a Nigerian-based business or Ghana-based. We are global. It's global in nature that is scaling operation all over the world. Just like Uber is scaling operation. If you tell somebody that you are working with Uber, the person are not going to say, um, the person know that Uber, Uber, Uber is global. If you tell someone you are working with Amazon, Amazon is global. If you're telling someone you are working with Boot, Boot is global. And this is the way all our companies are. All our companies are global. And these are very powerful um, softwares and the startup with very big business vision. Then this is a, a social media platform, just like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. And currently I've got over 150 people working in this particular company now doing their internship. They've added so many features to this um, particular uh, platform. This uh, robot is exactly like Facebook. You've got even more functionalities than Facebook. So, and we we'll keep deploying more functionality. These are some of the, the, the softwares, uh, piece of softwares our students are developing and they're deploying. So these are the things, some of the companies will be working with. Then this is um, Bookaton. Bookaton.com is, um, is a platform where you can search for beauty professionals. 
of all kinds. And you can book a turn, they will come for home service, or you go to their shop, but you can actually um, book for services here. So it's, a, it's, a, it's one of the concepts that are coming out very soon. And um, it's one of our the companies that we're looking at um, deploying our students in future. So these are the kind of things we're doing. It's, um, it's, uh, if you search book, um, although it's not fully um, functional, but it's now uh, uh, it's not registered yet. We are working towards doing that. We have um, DigiBreed. DigiBreed is um, a consulting firm. What DigiBreed is doing is what other consulting firm like KPMG, Accenture, NS, um, Deloitte, and the rest of them doing. And uh, DigiBreed, uh, it tend to do more. And most of these, um, our trainees, most of them are working on DigiBreed. And from DigiBreed as a consulting firm, is now deploying them to Catroid, Futraku, Romal.com from DigiBreed. So DigiBreed consult for all these companies, but we can equally deploy you directly to any of these companies without going through DigiBreed. So this is what we are going to be offering. There's a kind of work placement we are going to be giving to you and um, it's going to be remote. Like um, Catroid, have a, an office, a physical office in Nigeria, where someone, if you place order, they will package the order from their office and then send the order for delivery. But if you are making the order, your order can be either home delivery or sell or, or pick up. You can go to their office and pick up your delivery. So this one is, um, um, we have an office, both Catroid and um, Futraku, they have office for now, physical office, not just digital office. But the projects we are going to be working is going to be a remote base. We are not going to be going to their offices. We are going to be doing our project remotely. Since, um, since, um, uh, Uh, this um, COVID-19, I've been working remotely. I've not gone to work. The highest thing I can go is to go for a brief meeting or go to the office to pick equipment and the rest of them. But everything I do is remote job. And it's very profitable because by the time you go to work, commute to work, commute back, you use that time you used to commute up and down and do some other things. So, but uh, not that if they want me to, if, I, if there is need for me to start working, uh, going back to the office, I'll go back to the office. But the point I'm trying to make is that as an IT professional, expect yourself to be working mainly remote, even if you need, like it's now becoming a standard, no IT professional work 100% from the office. It's either you are working full-time remote or you are working hybrid. Hybrid is like you can work three days from home, you can go two days um, in a week. That's the arrangement. So that's um, what we are doing. And in terms of um, uh, success stories, our students have been getting jobs. And I'm so happy about that. I didn't know it's, it's going to be very soon. 
but they are getting jobs sooner than I expected. But we take our time to give them the best. So that is, um, we'll try to, to, to solve your problem even beyond what you, what you committed here. Because the overall success to me is uh, not that uh, you completed the uh, formulas with us. The overall success is that you've gotten what you want. And that's what I'm commit, committing myself to doing. So is, um, <clears throat> I've taken up this uh, contract with you to help you get what you want. But you need to work hard. You know, for you to, to get what you want or for me to help you get what you want, you need to really work hard. So this is um, uh, the thing. So do you have any question at this point? Hi, Charles. Hi. Hi, again. Hi yeah. This is Olisha again. So yeah. um, thanks once again on the very good question. And um, I think I feel the the concept behind the whole the whole stuff. Well, my question is this: Do do participants actually need to be uh, code um, code literate? No, you don't need to have uh, any knowledge of um, um, programming um, kind of, it is good to, if you have uh, the background, but even if you don't have any background in coding, if you don't have any background in business analysis, you, you can join. So you don't need, uh, don't be scared about coding. Business analysis is not about coding. Business analysis is about design, mainly about design, designing the solution, analyzing, uh, find looking for the, the, the problem. When you gather requirements, you analyze the requirements. And when you analyze the requirements, then you find out uh, where the gaps lies. What, that is their problem. You figure out their problem, then you figure out the solution. You do your solution evaluation, then you document the solution evaluation and you are then design the solution that you recommended. And when you recommend the solution, you design the solution, then you'll be there to help implementing the solution that you design. Then the developers will come in. So you work with the developers. You are not a developer. You design the solution and the developers we then implement the solution that you design. And you work with them to be monitoring them, making sure that the solution you design is what they are developing. By testing the solution, working with them, refining the requirements, that is what you are going to be doing as a business analyst. And as a project manager, you are the leader of that project to make sure that that project is being delivered on time and on budget. You'll be tracking the project, the, the, the deliverables, making sure that project team members are doing what they are supposed to do. You'll be checking the project timelines, making sure that um, you don't exceed the timeline. That is the boundary. You make sure that you, you work within your budget. If you don't manage, your team members, the people that you are working with, that you, they, because they entrusted that project in your hand to, money, to manage every resources. The team members you are working with, they are resources. The money, they are resources. 
So you manage all of them, both the business analysts, you manage everything, you manage the money, you manage the developers to make sure you even manage the stakeholders, people that you are, the client you are working with. You manage all of them together to make sure there is um, peace, to make sure there is understanding and making sure that managing all these people together, all the resources together, you deliver this project successfully. That is what you are going to be doing. So this has nothing to do with coding. So that is um, um, the answer to the question, but we are going to be working with developers. Developers are the people that requires programming language knowledge. So if you finish as the, the business analyst, as a project manager, and you want to be a developer, then there's another program on its own. But if you don't have any prior knowledge of IT, you can start from here. And um, we are not going to be coding. Only if you want to be a developer. Have I answered your question? Yeah, that's right. That's right. OK. More questions, please. Okay, let me um, see. So this is um, our platform, I will log in. I will use a, a student um, demo account to log in. So successfully I'm logged in now as a student. Now I have to go to my course as a student. So I'll go to my courses. And here, these are the courses here. So this is the one. I'll start this lesson and it will take me here. And um this is the course, the, the, the videos. Let me start from this one. And yeah, I'm starting from here. The courses is uh, structured in such a way that uh, you need to watch the first or perform the first activity before you is um once you finish the first activity it will open the second activity and that's why you see all this uh padlock is trying to um, uh, imbibe disciplines to the trainees so this is the the lessons, for instance, say if you want to watch this particular live session, click here. And this is one just like this one that I just been recorded. Okay, that is it. So this is recorded video that has been uploaded. So you can come and watch it anytime you want. And this is live classes. So like um, 
if you're having a live class, you can see it from here. If you want, you can join your live class from here, from inside the portal. You can, if you click here, it will take you to the Zoom class where we're having the, because these two platform is integrated. Our Zoom is integrated with it. So you, from here, you can um, watch the live class. We have a two uh, video conferencing, which you can use. You can use Zoom. For instance, if I if Zoom is down, we cannot we can then quickly migrate to GC to make sure that we don't have a, a, a downtime. And if you are if you are progressing, you can check your certificates. See. So you can see in this particular regard, the, the students just uh, the 5% to so this course. So you cannot get this certificate until you have 100%. So this is how it works here. Then if you scroll down, this is a forum where you can ask questions. You know, you can ask any question here. You can say, um, what is business analysis? So you can ask this question. And uh, the instructor will get back to you, or your co-students can get back to you, and they publish. So this is it. So somebody can comment on this particular, can say, oh, this is a good question, and come and uh, give you a thumbs up or reacting, or even a, a comment by saying, um, Cool. So, so that's what how we can interact within this. I uh, see, uh, is uh, someone have uh, responded to this particular question. It can be a student or it can be an instructor. And this is a notice board where you receive notice. I believe some of you must have been getting notice on your email if you are not getting notice on your email not be getting you let me know all this notice will be sending away from this uh, notice board you are receiving it here as well and you should be getting a copy of this on your email so this is it all the notice will be sent that will be everything will be here so we're receiving all the so if if you don't want to go to your email to check notice, can come here directly, check your notice. And this is um assignment where instructor can uh, submit assignment from here, and then you can uh, can see someone raising hand. So, so um Miriam, you are raising your hand. Yes, I do. Thank you. I have a question. Okay. Okay, so I do know that this is a hybrid program. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to, but I wanted to understand a bit more in terms of um, scheduling of sessions like this, like um, physical online, maybe Zoom classes, because I know that this um, introductory one was sent. Um, I got their email and I got it you know on the whatsapp um, group mm. but um, so if we are going to be doing you know some of the lessons online how frequent are we going to be meeting here you know are we going to have a schedule to make us plan our time because one of the things you were showing now I saw 12 p.m which is like you know during work day for maybe most of us and might not be as convenient as the 7 p.m one so I wanted to know, are we going to have, you know, a proper schedule to show the period that we're actually going to be meeting, even though we will be taking our own time to complete the sessions, 
you know, the programs online. So when do we meet and all that? Uh, would we have like, you know, some dates so that we know? Just wanted to be sure. Yeah, um, we'll be meeting like uh, from experience. Actually, this is um, um, an adult um, education. Most of our trainees are working class. And that's why we've uh, decided to shift this towards the evening because I myself, I work. This is not my full-time job, you know? So that's why we do it in the evening so that it, it, it profits everybody. If you are working, by the time you'll be back from work. And that's why it's in the, during the evening. Mainly we started it um, after the, the first one, we had a kind of, wanted to carry everybody along, we had a kind of um, an agreement and we started doing it by 7 p.m. and it'd be working, you know, but I'm looking at even if making it like um, eight or even nine so that people will, will come back and have some relaxation before jumping into, into, into class. So I'm looking at pushing it away from seven o'clock because seven I think is a bit early. Some people want to put their children to bed and then have a bit of maybe freshen up before joining in. Because I find a situation, you find like some people who joined my last class, they'll be complaining they are in, within the hold up, Lagos hold up, uh, Abuja hold up, this and that. So, and, these are the things I take into consideration. So I only want two people to um, make uh, input. That's why I say we, it, it's an interactive um, uh, section, my like class, because all of you are professionals, that you are seeking more knowledge doesn't make you less a professional. So, are you clear with my answer or do you want um, more? Uh, no, I think um, that's fine, um, Charles. I, I, evening is perfect. I was just making a note that I saw something similar, like it was 12 noon. But that uh, evening is very perfect for me. And I, yeah. I want to believe for maybe most of us also. I just yeah. wanted to be sure about the timing, how frequent are we going to be meeting, aside the fact that we will um, be doing things in, you know, on our own. Yeah, I think um, it's going to be uh, seven for now, but if I change, it's, it's not, it's, it can't come below seven, it's either seven or eight or nine, which I think, uh, it's perfect for everyone here. Well, we all, most of us are from the from the introductory speeches. Most of us here, are, <coughs> sorry, profession professionals. So that's it. So this is um, what we do, and um, we'll be more like I said. Uh, Will the class be every day? Um, the only thing I know is that we have to be fast in order to cover um, our class within two, within the, each module within two weeks. So, and I've done that, I've covered it within two weeks, you know. Uh, that's the only thing it can be like minimum of three days. You know, for us to get what we are looking, we must at least complete three days in a week. So that that's the only way we can 
gate um, to our targets. If we can't go up to three days in a week, there's no way we can uh, deliver uh, project management and business analysis within one month and jump into our uh, work placement. So, yeah, the three days is, um, the three days is, uh, like I say, is a minimum. It's not, um, it's not fixed. I can decide to take it five days in a week, which I know is going to be stressful. For like people, some of us are not so grounded in uh, this uh, IT. So we'll give them time to, to, to readjust okay. and be coping up. If you, you just, if you just dish everything once, it might become so too much to consume. So that's what I'm looking at. Give, when you dish out, you let it digest before you give more. But if you guys are fast, I can even deploy this whole, whole um, course in one day, you know? But it doesn't make sense because our learning capacity is not the same. So, so if you please, you want to ask question, you can talk, is the entire stop typing. I would prefer you talk to the talk to the class, is uh, because your have, you have project management skill starts from here, ability to interact with your project team because we're facilitating workshop very soon. So you, this is not uh, we don't chat here, although this um, this software have a chatting functionality, but I prefer you ask questions. So I'm talking to Benny and um, Eberi. I'll be chatting, ask questions so that people will hear what you're talking about and uh, they can equally gain something from your question. Hello, okay, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, I wanted to ask if the days will be fixed days. Like um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so that the timing can be, I can manage my time, I can manage to be in class at, at every single on those days. Yeah, yeah, we're looking at, uh, let's say, Mondays for sure, Tuesdays um, for sure, Wednesday. Yeah, maybe it can be three days like this and give you free space to rest a bit. Because I'll be giving assignments. Assignment I'll be giving is going to be technical assignments. You know? And that's why that will give you time to have some break and do your assignment. So, but you everybody needs to readjust. You need to make a bit of sacrifice. It's a project that you are just um, um, embarking on. So it's not, it must affect your way of um, life in one way or the other. So these are the things um, I want you to understand as well. So, but I'll try as much as I can to carry everybody along, but it cannot accommodate you 100%. That's why we have uh, uh recorded video we can um, even if you miss a class but i encourage you to to attend live class so that you can have the opportunity to ask questions and the question will be addressed immediately because if, if we move on i might not have time to address the question the way it would be when i'll be addressing your question um in real life uh, session So, so this is um hello Mr. Charles. Yeah. This name is okay. okay, um 
if we adopt Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, do we have any, are we looking at any particular duration per session? My sessions don't last more than two hours. It's between one to, and it can be less than one hour. So it's between one hour, let's just call it two hour session. Many a times we cannot, uh, at times one hour, 30 minutes, or latest two hours. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think um, um, we've um, we've we've got up the the picture that uh, I wanted to paint today. You understanding what you are into, the commitments, and the rest of them. And uh, once more, I say thank you for uh, the confidence you've uh, bestowed on us in uh, helping you leap within this uh, career development. We are not going to take this for granted. You know, you come here because of referral. People refer to you. And that's the way we want you to refer other people. That's the only way we can grow. And that's the only way we can make impact. This is a new approach to education that we're trying to dish out. And we can work together. This is um, a new venture that anyone have, we are, we have open, we're open to, to welcome anybody that wants to work with us, even after you finish what we are doing here. This is a change you are driving. Anybody, you are, you are welcome. We want to use this to create so many startups, create new world for, for us and for our children, um, leave legacy behind us, and that is it. So thank you. And um, I think I will bring in this uh, session to an end here. So I will be uploading this as soon as we finish so that um, you can come back and uh, have a look. And that's how we'll continue to do it. Um, good night and enjoy your weekend. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Just...